Okay, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a few simple things in Car Mechanics Simulator 2021. Alright, so first off we're going to start with suspension adjustments. So, you can, as you can see on the screen, I'm adjusting the value. It's about two up from the bottom of the page. One. And you want to go somewhere between one and three typically. That'll be tend to be like point, point one and three. Or one and three. I can't remember. I can't really see what I'm reading right now. Uh, but you can see me adjusting the values that's your up and down basically uh if for some reason you can't get it within the positives you do have a negative range as well um that is fairly common when it comes to uh adjusting springs so on some cars you'll have the springs themselves shoot through the hood and if that's the case you need to go into the spring value and adjust it as well um in order to move around on the screen you're going to need to uh right right click and then uh aswd keys to get the editor open. When you go to launch the game, you wanna launch the game editor. Now I'm adjusting the track. And that's once again, minor values. You wanna start in the further. Once again, the further you get in, the greater or the lesser the detail, the, gr the greater the fine tune. So now I'm gonna do a quick size adjustment. This is so I have to adjust something else. That, uh, that will be uh, again, the uh, track value. I'm going to short what the track value in this game does instead of uh, shortening something else. It like shortens, it makes the entire front end smaller almost. Uh, for rear ends on V8s, you really notice this. I hadn't noticed it as much on front ends. Uh, so, yeah. It's, it's relatively simple, but it does take a little bit to get it perfect. I'm also going to show a little bit more with uh, engine swaps and stuff, but I'm not going to go into a full detail. I am going to show what I have done. So in order to that, you switch over to the engine and you can go ahead and do it. Um, there is also a feature. So I'm going to throw a V6 in here and then show you how to adjust it. You can click on it, slide it, or you can adjust the values. I prefer to slide it, but that's not always an option. In the others category, which is what comes up right after this, um, you can add parts to the vehicle by pressing plus in the top corner. This allows you to uh, get like radiators and stuff. I like to do dual tanks uh, on cars like large V8s because it is fairly common to have a dual pump setup. Uh, Dodge likes to do it in the Challengers, Chargers, Magnums, and the 300s. I'm sure they also do it in the Rams and stuff, but those are the ones I'm certain of. Uh, you can also change the seats, the rim styles, and what this does basically is it replaces the car in game so if you go back and play it the original version of this car no longer exists so you're going to be playing with this one i'm now changing the uh, suspension up front each one of these allows you to adjust it now on screen is a car i built this is a all-wheel drive v8 station wagon i really love my station wagons so this car has entirely custom front rear subframe uh, custom interior, custom front seats and steering wheel, a custom exhaust all the way through it. So everything on here is custom. It's relatively simple. Uh, it just takes a bit of time to get all, everything lined up. It's a little more complicated. There are a few things that are a little jaggy on this car, but it's not awful. Um, any any questions you guys have, please ask them down below. I know this is a short video. That was the goal. I'm hoping that I can retain some attention. But if you guys enjoyed, please do leave a like comment any questions you guys have and i hope you guys enjoyed this and i hope this helped